Tensions are high in the Democratic Republic of Congo ahead of general elections scheduled for December 23rd. The winner of the race, presidential race, will succeed incumbent President Joseph Kabira, who has been in power since January 2001. My colleague Paul Rondiho has more on the story. Democratic Republic of Congo President Joseph Kabila gathered his ministers and party officials last week at his farm in Kingakati at the start of the presidential campaign. President Joseph Kabila announced in August that he would abide by the country's constitution and step aside, opening the door to the first ever democratic transfer of power. His announcement calmed tensions that had seen dozens of anti-Kabila demonstrators killed by security forces since he refused to step down when his constitutional allowable mandate expired in December 2016. Kabila is backing Emmanuel Ramazan Shadari as the presidential candidate of the Common Front for Congo, a coalition of ruling parties. Je suis I'm convinced that the work of rebuilding the Congolese state, initiated by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Joseph Kabila Kabange, and which marks the way forward for us for an emerging Congo, will indeed remain the source of inspiration for all my political commitment. A mineral-rich country that has never known a peaceful transition of power since its independence from Belgium in 1960. In a bid to present a combined front against President Kabira's preferred successor, seven opposition leaders earlier this month chose a joint presidential candidate, businessman and lawmaker Martin Fayulu. Fayulu drove through the streets of Kinshasa where he was greeted by thousands of supporters. Our objective is to achieve credible elections, that is, elections with paper ballots, without voting machines, with a clear and clean electoral list so that the Congolese tomorrow, when they have voted, that their results reflect their vote. Police used tear gas to disperse crowds that had overtaken the main road from the airport. For a brief moment, it looked as if a Congo's a splintered opposition was united. But those hopes were short-lived as opposition party leader Felix Kisekedi who had initially backed up Fayulu as the joint candidate later withdrew his support, along with UNC party leader Vital Kamahe. The UDPS is the oldest and biggest opposition party in the DRC. It was co-founded in 1982 by Felix Kisekedi's famous father, who died in February 2017. According to the DRC constitution, the president is elected in a plurality vote in one round. Paul Diho, BOA News, Washington.